Here's some features I really wish I knew about in Premiere Pro years ago. Feature number one, we have replacing clips in your edit from the project bin by option dragging the new clip onto the old one. This keeps the clip length the same and also keeps any effects you may have already had in place. Neat. Feature number two, show duplicate frame markers. By clicking the wrench icon on your timeline and turning on duplicate frame markers, you can quickly see at a glance which clips you have used more than once on your timeline. And even more specific than that, which parts of a clip have been used more than once. Nice. Feature number three, deleting through edits. A through edit is a cut that doesn't actually do anything, it's just sort of there. To get rid of it, click on the cut point and just hit the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. To make this even easier, if we hit this wrench icon one more time and select show through edits, we'll get these small triangle markers showing us which cuts are through edits. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. For number four, we can select the audio or video from a clip just by holding option and clicking on the audio or video. No need to unlink or to toggle this button right here. This is super useful for making J or L cuts. Lastly, at number 5, we have Show Audio Time Units. This option is hidden under these three horizontal bars. If we activate Show Audio Time Units, then all of a sudden our time code changes. And, more importantly, we can now edit our audio in ultra-refined increments, rather than being constrained by such massive increments of time as one frame. This is actually super useful for editing dialogue. Try it out! And that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching, like this video if you learned something, and consider subscribing for more video editing tips just like this one every Monday at 3pm Eastern. I'll catch you all in the next one, and bye!